Homework number 17 in unit two. The directions say find the number of degrees in angle V. Now, for just about every single picture up here, with the exception sort of of number seven, these are two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Here are my basketballs. Two parallel lines cut by a transversal. So I usually go through and basically set this all up. Whether you have to draw it or not, this is the way I do prefer to explain it. Now the only one I'm not gonna draw in the two basketballs for is question number seven which kind of looks a little bit different. And make sure you realize that there's three basketballs in number eight. You have the flexibility to choose the way you want to put your pink bow tie. So if I choose the lower right and the top left, I have to choose the lower right and the top left. So maybe I want the lower right, the top left. Remember V is here the lower left, the top right. The ball never spins when the lines are parallel. So if I choose this to be my bow tie, then the bow tie is in the same location for the basketball up on top. There's no spin on the ball. So here and here, keeping that bow tie in the same, this is where V is, location, maybe here and here, here and here. Changing it up a little bit. But remember, you have the choice on where you put the pink bow tie. And then from there, you work with what you have. So I'm skipping this, but here, maybe I'll do this one, this one, this one, this one. Remember the ball doesn't spin just bouncing it so the shading for the bow tie is in the same location and maybe here and here here and here remember v is there okay so i am skipping number seven but when i look at this particular problem v is a white bow tie 130 is a white bow tie white bow ties are equal to each other done Looking at number two, V is a pink bow tie, 128 is a pink bow tie. Pink bow ties are equal to each other. Number three, 66 is a pink bow tie, V is a pink bow tie. Same color bow tie means they are the same. They are equal to each other. Number four, 80 is a white bow tie, V is a pink bow tie. Anytime they have two different colors, you have to add them together and always set it equal to 180. Now you could do the math work or just look at it and say V has to be 100. But I am gonna show the math work. So if it's different color bow tie pieces, you add them up and you set it equal to 180. So. V is a white bow tie, but the 90 degree angle is a pink bow tie. So V plus 90 has to equal 180. That's technically how you're supposed to solve these. So when you subtract 90 from both sides, it is just coincidental that they come out to be the same number. Sometimes it's an even split. Okay, number six, V is a white bow tie, 81 is a white bow tie. If they're both the same color bow tie, then they are equal to each other. We are skipping number seven for a moment. We are going directly to number eight. 58 is a white bow tie and V is a pink bow tie. So you need to add the two of them together and you need to set it equal to 180. Now I'm just curious. Did I write down that number correctly for number eight? I did. My problem is I didn't label it correctly. So this is not the way it's set up on the diagram. The 58 is my apologies. 
now it is written down or drawn correctly. So V is a pink bow tie, 58 is a pink bow tie. That means they have to be equal to each other. And finally, number nine, 130 is a white bow tie, but V is a pink bow tie. You need to add them together and set it equal to 180. So I'm gonna subtract 130 from both sides and now I know that my value of V is equal to 50. Okay, I gotta go back to number seven because we definitely skipped that one. When you look at number seven, I know there are parallel lines, but I'm not gonna go there. If you find an X in a picture, you actually have your own bow tie. Both of those angles are 83 degrees. So I'll put an 83 in here also. And if you look at your diagram, you have another X. There is an X over here and here. And they clearly put a, a, a V here, right? So if that's V, then I know this one's also V. Unfortunately, I don't know what it's equal to, but they are both the letter V. Now, when you look at this, you can pretty much pretend that you do not see this line going across. But to do this problem a different way, if these are your two parallel lines, and I'm going over them in green a little bit darker, here's one line and here's the other line. Anytime you have parallel lines, you're allowed to look for Z's. Both of these angles are equal to each other if they are Z angles. Z angles, the proper name is alternate interior angles, and they are always equal to each other.